That's all, that's all I get. That's perfect. Come on okay. out. That's all I needed. <laughs> that was good for me. Okay. Well, I'm glad it was Let's good. Let's take a quick walk around the car just so we can show people in case they didn't see the other video. Mm -hmm. Tell them what you have here today. 56 Volkswagen with a 215 aluminum Buick engine in it. And it's oh. called the... Berlin Buick. The Berlin Buick. Check it out on Google. Learn all about it. Check it out on Google. You got to hear it run. Right. Or as I like to call it, we got it fired up in Chicago. There we go. Okay, now I got to go back here. All right. We've got a much more detailed video of this car that you can see, but we didn't have it fired up. So take a look at the other My Car Story with Lou, Berlin, you, and you'll get the chance to see the full video of this one. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're at the World of Wheels, Milwaukee, and with that, I met Rob. Rob, nice to see you. Nice to see you. And I would say, let me jump in for a second, I would, what's your last name? Gehring. Gehring. And you're the caretaker for this car. Yes. And who's the owner? Rob Freeman from Watertown, New York. Rob Freeman. Now, Rob has, uh, this may be one of the unique cars at this show. What, uh, what do we have here? We have a 1956 Volkswagen, uh, original car, um, with a slightly modified motor, being a 215 <laughs> Buick. V8 where the back seat used to be. Slightly modified. You, you call this something though. What do you call this car? The name of the car is the Berlin Buick. The Berlin Buick. What a creative idea we have here. Holy cow. All right, first of all, I'm just going to let people take it in. First of all, your display looks fantastic. Thank you. But let's, uh, let's start with the obvious, the back end. So come on alongside me. The microphone's right there. What's going on back here? Uh, well, you see the uh, the top has been chopped about four and a half inches. Okay. It gives the low silhouette. The uh, the bumpers are all handmade with inset tail lights. Let's get closer to those. Now, what tail lights are these? Um, is that a Buick tail light? I believe they are a Buick. Okay, yeah. Like it could be okay, and you still kept all this VW look. All the VW is here now. This grill work through here, yes, has been all modified on the inside to let air through flow through. Does it get hot in this car? It can get hot it if, uh, get hot. yeah, yeah, if you're sitting and idling, it can get quite warm. All right, let's take this in from the side, and we're going to show you a book with some of the details of what happened here. But you're seeing the end result. How long did this take and how many people? Uh, Brown's Metal Mods out of Port Laden, New York, built the car. Okay. Uh, it's a shop of four guys. It took them two years. Wow. Now, the owner, again, is, is, is Rob? Yes. Now, this was his idea. Yes. It was uh, kind of an idea of his since uh, high school or sometime in his youth uh, to put a V8 motor uh, in a Volkswagen and not just hang it off the back end. He wanted something different. Tell me what's going on with these pipes. Uh, the exhaust pipes there right under the quarter window are straight pipes coming off the motor, four are on each side. Straight pipes. Straight pipes, no <laughs> mufflers. And I, uh, I want to pause for a second. We've already set it on the carpet. I can't start this one. Yes, I know you want to hear it, but if you couldn't hear it, I at least want to show it to you. So go ahead, I, I want to level some expectation. Because people will be like, well, you didn't start it. Believe me, I wanted to hear it. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, I'll tell you, if they Google Berlin Buick, they'll see it run. Okay. There's a lot of video out there. Uh, some of the other features on it as far as the exhaust pipe. Uh, the Berlin Buick name is Berlin, is obviously Volkswagen. Buick is a lot of the components other than the motor. Uh, the motor is a 61 to 63, uh, 215 all aluminum Buick V8, uh, which keeps the weight down about 300 horsepower. Uh, the side, uh, the Wait, you said keeps the weight down because it's an all aluminum motor. Okay, all right. So it's not a steel motor. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
The exhaust comes through on 1953. Oh, wait, you said only 300 horsepower? Yes. I would think more than that. No? It's a 215 oh, cubic inch. Okay, all right, 215 cubic cool. Wow, that, that is a lot of that's horsepower. A, okay, I'm with, I'm with you. I'm with you. Come on with me while we're talking because sure. I want to keep showing this. Sure. Go ahead. So keep telling me. If we're going to talk about the motor, let's, let's show them. Sure. Now show them how this door opens. Yep, suicide doors. I might also add the trim here is 1957 Buick. And what do you, you do with your foot? There's a remote button on the bottom of the car. Okay. So now here's a neat design. This trim has been inset into the body to help flush fit it. Wow. And it's a lot more streamlined. Again with the Buick. These porthole openings are 1953 Buick. They'd be on the side of the hood as air vents. On this car, they run the exhaust. They run the exhaust. The last component is, uh, is a 1949 Buick Dash. So let me just, before we get to the Dash, I mean the pedals, everything on this. Look at the stick shift. Yeah, the, uh, the shift knob is actually uh, the Wolfsburg uh, Volkswagen logo uh, crest, actually made in 3D. And then it has a crown on it. Is this car an actual driver? Has anybody yes. driven this around the street? He has driven this about 100 miles. It only was finished uh, in the middle of summer. Uh, but actually at the Good Guys Columbus show, this ran the autocross track. It wasn't the fastest, but it ran very respectable times. And look at the look at the, the the ventilation here. Yes, the radiators. There's twin radiators on each side. The and there, fans are there's no glass. Them. I can grab engine if I feel like it. So you yes. are right there. Holy cow! Look at even the interior roof. This is this is right there as far as the most creative vehicles I've ever seen. Holy cow! And. Look at how this is done. Let me let me let me show back there. I'm not gonna rush this mm -hmm. because there's way too much. Look at that. The transaxle is based on a Mendiola aftermarket uh, for off-road racing. Uh, all the rear suspension is all hand built, uh, narrowed. The tires are 12 inch wide. Um, some people, some of your uh, viewers... How big are the tires? The tires are approximately 12 inches well, wide. Let me show they're, people they're, these. They're fairly wide tires. Let me show this. They're wider than you'd expect. Can you just do me a favor? Put your leg right next to the tire. I want to show like what a leg looks like. <laughs> compared to the those, width of those that are, tire. Those are wide tires. Okay, yeah. Now, right. some of, this car is on air ride. Some of your viewers will notice the uh, the strange angles for the half shafts okay. going out to the wheels. Mm -hmm. This is on air ride. So this car will come up at right height. It's all level. All the geometry works. This car was built to be driven. Okay. And even, look at the creativity. Wow. Okay. It's a mind blower. All right, so let's uh, let's go back to the interior for a moment because we're not done there. Sure. So let me just show you what I'm seeing. <laughs> Rob, do you want to share with me what we're looking at here? Because everything here is so custom. Uh, the dash is a uh, '49 Buick. Uh, the Volkswagen steering wheel was modified to work with the um, Buick horn ring. Um, that's great. Some of the extra features of this, this dash was built as this wraps around. Go ahead. It has a door extension. This is all scratch built. This was not a Buick thing back in 49. The dash would have just rounded and ended right here. Can we shut that just so I could show people how that rolls? Sure. Look at this. Even the exhaust wrapping matches. Yes. A 49 Buick Dash. The level of creativity. I mean, what what awards does this car win? Most uh, creative design, most... Oh, uh, let's see. Because everybody it, knows what a Volkswagen looks like. Exactly. And people actually can probably remember what an old Buick looks like. Yes. And the combination of these two is like... 
I don't know, peanut butter and mustard. I mean, it's just totally crazy. It's so that's outside a, of your mind. That's a good comparison. Uh, one of the awards we're quite proud of is uh, Hot August Nights. Last August is a huge show in Reno, Nevada. Um, a lot of high-end cars. This car took fourth place. Wow. Which is uh, quite, quite an honor for a car that was, you know, this was really not built as a show car. It was built as a driver. <laughs> it was built as a driver. Let's take a look under the... Uh, the I, I won't call it the, the uh, hood, the, the front end. Usually the trunk. And, and I want to sh sh show that book that kind of shows how this all put together. Look at the headlights. Let me just show you that fender. <coughs> wow. So what's going on here? We have a gas tank. I can see we that. We have the gas tank up here. What, yes, up at is the that a special composite or no? That's just a aftermarket aluminum uh, fuel tank. Okay. What is this now? This cover right here. This was actually a handmade cover. Okay. Uh, what this does is this covers all the air ride assembly, the okay. compressors, the air tanks, master cylinders, slave cylinders for the clutch and the brakes, Got it. fuse panel, there's a lot going on under there. And is this the battery? This is the battery, it has okay. an Optima battery in it. All of this has all been smoothed out. Uh, Just if, one battery for this whole car? Yeah, that's all okay. it needs. So. All right. All right, let's take a look at that book so we can show people, we can, we can sit right here for a second. And let me just show people this too while I'm right here. Look at underneath this car. Yeah, it's got uh, the standard front beam. It's actually been narrowed six inches, so we could use more of a normal offset wheel <laughs> instead of a traditional Volkswagen. So uh, look at the size of this wheel, okay? It looks like a drag car. All right, so here we are. This is what the car started out as when it showed up at the shop. Well, like a Volkswagen. It looks like a Volkswagen. Sure. And then just a lot of all of the details, how it was chopped. Uh, there's a lot of work when this uh, top comes down, the rear window and rear uh, deck opening all stay the same and just kind of slide between the fenders. These guys are magicians. Yeah, he's a, he's a fantastic builder. Probably one of the best builders uh, in New York. Wow. I, well, give me one more. I want to show, look at the chrome piece here. Nothing missing on this. This is what are these bumpers? Are these Buick bumpers too? These are all hand built bumpers, bits and pieces. Uh, I couldn't <laughs> tell you the uh, this section here is Volkswagen. I couldn't really tell you what the Buick uh, bullet and uh, uh, it's some it's a bullet off of something. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Starting to come together here. Yes. I mean, obviously we've seen the end result, but for those people who like all the engineering, I didn't want you to miss this either. Okay. Yeah, here's some of the fabrication detail when they built the doors and how that all wraps around. Okay. Uh, all the door corners have been rounded too, which is oh, yeah. uh, kind of a kind of an old school uh, custom car. Uh -huh. uh, the running boards have been deleted. Yeah, uh, now that you running, say that. Right? Running boards are removed, and the bottoms of the rockers have been rolled under the car. Uh, a lot of detail in here is how as far as all of the uh, construction on the suspension system, how the exhaust pipes all fit. Yeah, crazy. Uh, a lot of things, it's kind of hard to see once it's all fit together. And this was, the total build was, did you say three years? Two, uh, two years. Three years, four guys. For a four-man crew. Jeez. Was this all they were doing? Uh, they were doing a few other jobs, okay, but right. uh, there was always one or two guys, I think, that were uh, real knee-deep in... Uh, in this program. The uh, the intake, right here's a nice picture of the motor. The uh, the intake is actually an old Hillborn mechanical fuel injection unit uh, that they found in somewhere in Tennessee or Georgia. Uh, it was new old stock. It came off of a shelf. It had never been installed. They took it, they did some modification and turned it 
uh, modified it into electronic fuel injection. Oh, it's artwork. So yeah, it has the old school look, uh, but it fires right up. It runs good. It's kind of self-tuning um, as far as the electronics. Uh, it's just, it's a really fantastic running car. Here's some detail as far as how they built uh, all the hubs for the rear suspension, oh, yeah. all of that narrowed suspension. Mm -hmm. All the hubs are just all handmade, they're, they're multi-piece, they're absolutely bulletproof the way that's all built. Uh, was all engineered and built uh, at Brown's Metal Mods. This actually does have the original pan that has been modified. A lot of guys think that we went through and built a, a full separate a chassis. chassis. No, this uses the original pan that's just been strengthened and uh, you know it doesn't, doesn't have any weird flex. It seems to handle right, uh, corners well. Um, I'm surprised it corners well with the big fatties on the back and little thin ones. On the yeah, front. you know, you get a little bit of body roll. Okay, obviously, right, yeah, it wasn't. Right. Uh, it, it's not a road course car. Right. But uh, but no, it does. Uh, it well, does with all really the weight well. on the big fat ones in the back. It probably sticks to the ground really well. It does. They're very. They're a very sticky tire. So uh, look at this. Even the oh, he has to put this together. All right. Amazing. Now we're seeing it paint. Man, that must have been fantastic when it went to paint. Yeah, Just yeah. It's always, it's, it's always a fun day when you it see is. color and shiny paint on yeah. a project, isn't it? Here's some of the fuel injection, how all that was all configured. And here's where we start fitting the body and chassis and all that back together. Amazing. And, and there we are on. at the other end of the story. By the way, wonderful display. Thank you. Just stand right there because I'm going to work the way. Yes. Nice video. goes. Wow. <laughs> if I couldn't see it start, this is good. That is wonderful with the drone. There she goes. Wonderful natural colors, right? They look great yeah. in that natural fall. Yeah, yeah. They they shot this last fall. This was uh, up in look upstate New York. So look at that. Well, there's no question that uh, we'll shut the door. I want to show the car again. There's no question that you'll I want to get the full memory of what that looks like. There's no question that you won't forget that. Rob, there it goes again. We had a good time. Thanks yeah. for taking a look at the car. Nope.